25th, All-Star Wrestling returns to the beautiful Capitol Center. On that afternoon, the wrestling action starts at 1 o'clock. Scheduled to compete on the Pro Wrestling Spectacular, the card will read like a who's who in pro wrestling, including the Samoans, Afa and Sika, meeting individual competition against the likes of Rene Goulet and uh, Pedro Morales, respectively. Also scheduled to compete on this wrestling spectacular in Washington, we'll see Sergeant Slaughter, I believe, for the very first time, locking up with Pat Patterson, and at the Capitol Center. The date of the 25th will mark the return of Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, as Mr. Atlas will meet Larry Zabisco, notwithstanding the World Wrestling Federation title defense of Bob Backlund against Ken Patera. Right now, the Grand Wizard, our special guest, and the Grand Wizard representing Sergeant Slaughter as well as Ken Patera. That means that the people of Washington get a double treat. They see the one, the only, my D.I. That is Sergeant Slaughter and the piece de resistance, the icing on the cake. My Olympic star, my Pan Am star, the strongest man in the world is going to do what nobody else has been able to do so far. And incidentally, McMahon, you may tell me a lie, and Scullin may tell me a lie, but I understand that Mr. Backlund is on tranquilizers right now, having little calming fears about facing Patera. I don't blame you one bit, Backlund, because you know what's going to happen. The swinging neck breaker, snap, crackle, pop, Ken Patera will have two belts, Intercontinental, WWF. What a beautiful day, what a beautiful night, and in our nation's capital. The Grand Wizard. Our guest now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. As Tony Atlas is set to take on Larry Zabisco, and I suspect Larry Zabisco will attempt, uh, Tony, to pull out all the stops when he meets you. I don't think you'll see much scientific skill displayed by Larry Zabisco. I think it's going to be a roughhouse match. You know, I got to go along with you, Mr. My Man, because Larry Zabisco, he's the kind of man that turned on his best friend. And, and Bruno's supposed to be kind of like, almost like a father to Larry Zabisco. I mean, he trained the man, he fed the man, he taught the man everything he know. Now, anytime a man turn on his best friend and, and talk about him, get out here and try to humiliate him and pull him down, not that long as hard as the man don't work, now, he can't be too much of an individual with his own self. So I know the man ain't got no respect for his friends, and he ain't got no respect for himself. So I know definitely he ain't going to have no respect for me in that ring. When I get in the ring with Lance Hibisco, I know that I'm going to have to put out 110% that I could look for him to do just about anything. But one thing that I rely on a great deal is the support of the people. You know, every time I've been in Washington, I want to thank the people for coming out and, and support me because each time I be there, it just make me feel good to look out there and see all them people who gave up things to do just to come out to, to watch me wrestle. And I'm, I'm going to try my best not to let them down. Larry Sabisco, you get out here and you say what you want to say about me. But the proof is in the pudding, brother. You're going to have to bring, bring your hand pots on there to Washington. I'm going to be there waiting on you. All right. Thank you very much. Tony Atlas's commentary on his upcoming match with Larry Zabisco. That should prove to be a real Donnybrook. And here with us now, Mr. Controversy himself, Larry Zabisco. Vince, Tony Atlas needs a psychiatrist. Tony needs Atlas, what? psychiatrist. I'm not talking about wrestling. I'm talking about people's heads. I'm interested in your head, Tony, and I'm going to use you as an example. You have been dumped on all your life with guilt. Tony is suffering from guilt because... As soon as he gets on the microphone, he says, Bruno San Martino helped me. I should feel bad. I should be guilty. I should just crumble up and die for shame. This has nothing to do with you and me. You know, when you were growing up, Tony, I bet your mother said, wait till I tell your father. We work all day to support you. Wait till I tell. Aren't you ashamed for doing that, Tony? And didn't you feel bad? And didn't you feel guilty? I don't feel guilty for why... I did, Tony. And number two, it's none of your business. I'm just showing up in Washington, D.C., and I'm just going to go in the ring with another opponent, and I'm going to beat you because I make money, more money than you. I'm the winner. 